Welcome to Nightline for Monday, November 23rd, 2020. I am Dania Marina Brito with school news and announcements for Jose Marti Mast 6 to 12 Academy. To begin with our local weather report, here is Anthony. I am Anthony Lara with your Nightline weather. It's 72 degrees with 93% humidity and clear skies as we begin the day. Expect clear skies with high temperatures around 80 today. Mostly clear to partly cloudy skies today will give way to some overnight showers going into Tuesday. The high today is projected to be 82 with an overnight low of 72. Winds are expected from the north today, with gusts as high as 10 miles per hour. That's all for your Nightline weather. Back to you. Thank you, Anthony. The 2021 yearbook is now on sale at yearbookforever.com. Search for Jose Martin Mast Academy to pre-order your book for today for only $35. Sales are online only at yearbookforever.com. Want to get community service hours helping other students with their math homework? Want to join a club with other math-loving students? Maybe even participate in math competitions? Moo Alpha Theta meets every first Wednesday of the month starting at 3.30 p.m. Join the Remind group at Toasty Math to receive a link to the Zoom meeting. Ever wonder what's going on in the world? Here's Mario with today's Planet Report. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mario Dominguez reporting in with Planet Report. From Hong Kong, CNN is reporting that Hong Kong pro-democracy activist Joshua Wong has been remanded into custody after pleading guilty to charges related to a protest outside police headquarters last year during months of unrest over a proposal extradition bill with China. Wang, who faces up to three years in prison, according to his lawyer, was, ch was charged alongside with two other activists, Agnes Chow and Ivan Lam, for what prosecutors said was their role in inciting, organizing, and knowingly taking part in the unauthorized assembly, which took place on June 21st of last year. Monday's stress was only the latest in a series of prosecution and arrests this year in relation to the 2019 protests. Earlier this month, a number of former pro-democracy lawmakers were arrested over a protest stage in the city's legislature. The protests have largely been eclipsed politically, however, by the national security law imposed on the city by Beijing this summer. This law criminalizes secessions, subversions, and collusion with foreign forces and carries it with a strict prison terms. That's all for now. Back to you. Thank you, Mario. The National Art Society meets the first Friday of the month from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. It is open to all students who have taken or are currently taking a high school level art class. Contact Ms. Morales for more information. Students Working Against Tobacco, or SWAT, is on a mission to reduce tobacco use, expose manipulative marketing of tobacco, and empower youth to stand up against big tobacco. SWAT meetings are on the first Thursday of the month. Join them on Microsoft Teams with the join code below. Picture days are almost here. Physical students will take their school pictures on Monday or Tuesday, November 23rd or 24th, through their language arts classes. Students can dress down for free on their scheduled picture day and must follow the school dress code. MSO students, picture day will take place on Wednesday, November 25th, teacher planning day. Pictures are by appointment only, so please check our school's social media pages or the school site for information on scheduling your photo appointment here at Jose Marti Mast. Contact Ms. Morales for more information. And today we bring you a new segment, The Earth Actually Matters, or TEAM. Here's Icel to tell you more. Introducing The Earth Actually Matters with Icel Rodriguez. Scientists predict that by 2100, Greenland will be shedding ice faster than any time in the past 12,000 years. Scientists report in October 1st in Nature. Since the 1990s, Greenland has shed its ice at an increasing rate. Melt water from the island's sheet now contributes to about 0.7 millimeters per year to global sea level rise. But how does this rapid loss stack up to the ga again against the ice sheet's recent history, including a 3,000 year warm period? Glacial geologist Jason Briner of the University of Buffalo in New York and colleagues created a master timeline of the ice sheet changes spanning from nearly 2,000 years ago from the dawn of the Holocene Epoch, 11,000 
700 years ago and I predicted it out all the way to 2100. During the past one episode from about 10,000 to 7,000 years ago, Greenland has lost its ice rate at a rate of 6,000 billion metric tons each century, the team's teammates. That rate remained at all match until the past two decades. From 2000 to 2018, the average rate of ice loss was similar at about 6,100 billion tons per century. Over the next century, that pace will accelerate. How much does it depend on future greenhouse gas emissions? Under lower emissions, that scenario, ice loss is predicted to be an average of 8,800 billion tons per century by 2100. With higher emissions, the rate of loss could ramp up to 35,900 billion tons per century. Lower emissions could slow the loss, but no matter what humanity does, the ice will melt this century at a faster clip than it did during the warm period. See you next time, team. The Earth Actually Matters. Thank you, Isel. Before we go, I would like to ask for your input. Share what you are thankful for this Thanksgiving with us, and you could be featured on our show. Upload your video to OneDrive and share it to the email below. Please share your message by noon on Thursday, November 24th to be included in our special. That's it for us today. I'm Dania Marina Brito with Nineline. Thank you to Anthony, Mario, and Isel who contributed to our show. We will see you next time.